Hello YouTubers, I'm your host Freddy from Red Light Studio and today we will be learning how to fade in and out using Adobe Premiere Pro. First, create a project in Adobe Premiere Pro. Then, create a bin for your footage. Right now this step is not necessary, but in bigger projects you will appreciate the tidiness. Now, all we need is the footage itself. Import it and put it in the bin. After that, open up the bin and drag the footage to the timeline. Scale the timeline to best fit your footage. Trim your footage to your desired length and style using the cutter tool. This is found on the toolbar or hitting C on your keyboard. Right here I get rid of the audio, just because I didn't need it. This is not a necessary step on how to fade in and out. Now that we have done all that and we have prepped our footage, we can now get to the part in which we fade. There are three different ways we can fade. Method 1. Using Ctrl D. This is found on your keyboard. For Windows users, Ctrl D would be your option. For Mac slash Apple users, it will be Command D. This creates little boxes that can be stretched or shrunk to change the time it takes to fade. Method 2. By enlarging the Video 1 channel, it now gives us the option to play with the opacity bar on our footage. By then holding Control on Windows, or holding Command on Apple, you can then click on the opacity bar to create a key point. With these key points you can then adjust them to change the opacity. By having two points you can make it fade in and out. And finally, method 3. By going up to the top left corner, you'll find the effects control panel. By clicking on that, it will open up a bunch of different options. We're just going to be focusing on opacity. By clicking on opacity, you can then create individual key points and using the panel up in the top left corner, you can set those key points. Or you can go back to method 2 and move it along the opacity line found on the footage. So that summarizes the video and I hope it taught you guys a thing or two about how to fade in and out. If you like this tutorial then give it a smashing like, if you have a request for any more tutorials give me a comment below, and if you want to see more of the videos then hit that subscribe button to Red Light Studio. Once again I am your host Freddy and I will be talking to you guys soon.